Good morning, coin roll hunters. Uh, Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, back again with our next roll out of this $500 box. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, we upgraded our 1983 birthday half dollar uh, last time. And uh, yeah, so just really looking forward to seeing what's in this roll. Obviously, both enders uh, have the seal, so uh, there could be anything in here. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you catch us again tomorrow, and uh, let's get into it. So, uh, just gonna rip into this one like a birthday present. <laughs> Woo! Oops. <laughs> Too excited. Too excited this morning. So sometimes you just got to dial it down. Uh, but you know what? I'm bringing the energy today. So uh, I'm in just excited. Let's see what we have here. Got some old coins mixed in there. Ooh, okay. So, could that be silver? Oh, man. I don't know. There's a couple of interesting bands in here. That's looking in too good a condition. 2000. And I'm betting that one's a 2002. Or a 2000 also. Let me see. Unless it's 2002, then I called it. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Now the tarnishing on this one is interesting, um, but that was, yeah, just copper. All right, so uh, really, I don't really see too much that uh, looks like it could be silver. Um, see these ones, it's, uh, the rim always gets me, it looks like it could be, but uh, they're just in really good shape. Uh, look at that one, so 1999. That looks like it's in really good condition, extra fine maybe. Oh wow. So uh, look at the uh, lines in the hair and the detail in that. Uh, I don't know, lots of uh, gouges and contact marks. You see that with these uh, circulated half dollars. The half dollars are a lot heavier and uh, transporting them in bags and stuff. And those thousand dollar bank bags, they tend to take a lot of damage. Um, in circulation but you know what that is a really gorgeous coin and uh, I gave away that 1990 and uh, some of you guys sent me some emails <laughs> thought I was crazy maybe I'll keep this one um, it's got really great luster um, really fine details it's not very old but you know what um, out of respect for your opinions uh, and I don't want you to think I'm crazy We'll set it aside, and we'll call that one a uh, surprise. So, hey, we're ahead. You know what? And later I'm going to uh, stay tuned because I'm just going to check our uh, reference book. I'm curious to see uh, what a 1999 in that kind of shape might bring. So uh, a lot of you might already have your books out, which I think is great. Um, if you don't have the red book, I do provide links um, so that uh, you can get that easily on Amazon. It's not very expensive at all. Um, I don't know. The, the brilliance, I guess, on that one in the fields is probably... I don't know if it's worth keeping. You know what? We will let, uh, we will let the book decide. Because right now it's kind of... Uh, I'm indifferent, to be honest with you. I could probably... I could release that one and, uh, back into the wild, but... Uh, <laughs> That's that just drives you guys crazy, um, but who knows? Maybe you'll pick up one of the rolls that I go through um, if you're passing through the area, and you'll be happy that I did. So I like to think somebody else out there um, just really excited when they find it. I don't know. Um, hey, last one, 1983. Would you look at that? And that is a D. So. Um, I can already see a lot of the contact, those heavy contact marks on the neck. Um, but hey, that one's not so bad. So we'll do a quick comparison with the last upgrade we did, just to show you guys. So we do have some minor rubbing marks. You can see that in the hair. Uh, detail in the hair and the ear look about the same. I think I'm going to keep this one, though. Um, I really, I really hate those contact marks. I don't know. Everybody has pet peeves, I guess. And uh, for me, 
it's a stinking contact marks. But, you know, that's for me to deal with. So, hold on, hold on. Uh, I am just grabbing our literature here really quick. So what we have here, so we did find something. It's not silver. Uh, I don't want to mislead you guys if you skipped ahead. But it's uh, 1999, okay? Uh, Kennedy half dollar. Sorry, that's a really flattering angle of me. <laughs> 1999, what would you say? A D? Is it a D? Ah, basic information. And I just got to pay attention more. Come on, you camera. Get into focus. Is that a P or a D? Shoot, that is a D. Okay, so we got a 1999 Denver um, clad. Just a regular clad, but it's in really good condition. And, uh, yeah, they're not even considering these things. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, MS-63 condition. Uh, I don't think that's meeting MS-63. That's just me. Maybe you guys can discuss it, but uh, keep $3. Uh, $3 MS-63, nothing for proof. So they might not have made one. i got to double check that. But uh, 10682000 of these made. So it's a beautiful coin, um, really nice detail, really nice luster. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's not really pulling my heartstrings uh, right now. There might be a time, though. Uh, <laughs> this is always the difficult part because when we go back, uh, as this channel progresses, I'm sure we'll be doing a series um, <laughs> of these coins by date and uh, I'll want this one at some point but you know what for right now um, catch and release so I'm sorry guys if that makes you upset but uh, you know this is the great coin roll hunter and uh, I'm not just about uh, finding this stuff I'm also about uh, building numismatic knowledge um, definitely outreach to the community to gain as much knowledge as we can about this and then really, bottom line, inspiring people about this awesome hobby. So, um, if you find one of these rolls, uh, these customer-wrapped rolls, you know, uh, at a bank, don't be discouraged. Uh, pick it up, even if you think it's searched. Um, like I said, any day you're going through a roll is a good day. So, um, hopefully, uh, just make sure that you subscribe so you catch us next time, tomorrow for the next roll and uh yeah like and comment uh let's hear let's uh hear your comments on this 1999 gorgeous gorgeous strike great luster uh, yeah anyway <laughs> this is matthew the great coin roll hunter um wishing you happy hunting